For producing DNT, you need a particle accelerator powerful enough for processing particle. Then you also need the cyclotron and finally a set of chemical plants so that you can process ferric sherbidate. Let's start with the particle accelerator. Here we are going to switch it to linear accelerator mode and combine three hydrogen ion capsules with three copper ion capsule which will give us our antiproton and positron pair. Now we need this pair to obtain antimatter and we do that by combining it in a crafting table. So take these two pairs and combine them in a crafting table first with two empty cells which will give you your antimatter cell. We need total two of these and combining it with an empty capsule will give you your antimatter capsule. Next going back to the particle accelerator again and making sure that it is still in the linear mode combine hydrogen with antimatter in order to obtain muon capsule. Now we go to the cyclotron where combining two plutonium dust with two pieces of antimatter cell will give us our anti sherbidium So there we go we have two anti sherbidium cells and now we are going to shift these cells or basically the anti sherbidium into capsules so that we have two anti sherbidium capsule. Combining these capsules in the circular accelerator mode will give you your dark matter. So here we have dark matter capsule and finally we combine the muon with dark matter capsule in order to obtain the strange quark capsule. For the next step take any low tier enchantment book and process it in a shredder in order to obtain the pulverized enchantment. And combining the pulverized enchantment with the strange quark capsule will give you your particle. This is the second most expensive recipe other than Digam. Now we are going to move to our chemical plants. First one is for producing hydrogen peroxide, which will then combine with the sherbidium powder and sulfur powder in order to give us a sherbidium trisulfide. This sherbidium trisulfide will then go into the third chemical plant which will combine it with hydrogen peroxide and ionized particles which we will obtain from a fusion reactor and this will give us a sherbidic acid. And finally combining the sherbidic acid with iron powder will give us our ferric sherbidate powder. Processing the ferric sherbidate powder in a furnace will give you ferric sherbidate ingots and with this particle this will give you your dineutronium ingots.